Hello, hello, grade nine, the senior love is here again. Um, I want us to do the correction for the homework I gave you. Okay, now the question is what is the coordinate of Z prime? The image of Z. If reflected in the x-axis remember reflection on the x-axis x remains the same y becomes negative and reflection on the x-axis is the same as reflection in the line y is equals to zero all right so reflection on the x-axis is the same as reflection in the line y is equals to zero so if the question is asking you to reflect in the line y is equal to zero is the same as reflection in the x-axis okay so reflection in the x-axis x remains the same y becomes negative so this x it remains as it is it doesn't change remains the same so this x which is negative 3 will remain as negative 3 but y becomes negative this y which is positive 3 is going to be negative 3 all right okay let's look at the next question what are the coordinates of z prime the image of z okay if reflected in the x-axis so the same reflection in the x-axis x remains the same y becomes negative so this y this x it remains the same as 3 this y is minus 3 it's going to be what positive all right so it's minus 3 y becomes negative so negative negative is going to be what positive okay what are the coordinates of z prime the image of z 3 3 if reflected in the x-axis reflection in the x-axis what is it can you tell me x remains the same y becomes what negative are you getting the picture okay i'm using three throughout now what is the coordinate of z prime the image of this and this if reflected in the y axis this time y axis reflection in the y axis is the same as reflection in the line x is equals to zero so reflection in the y, y axis what do you think it will be if reflection in the x axis x remains the same y becomes negative okay reflection in the y axis y remains the same x becomes negative so reflection in the y axis y remains the same so the 3 is still 3 x becomes negative this is minus 3 is going to be plus 3 Okay, let's look at the rules. Writing the rules example. If I have this point negative four seven, it maps to this point, which is the image negative four negative seven. He's able to change your situation. This is the reflection in the x-axis. What do you mean? Reflection in the x-axis. X remains the same. But y becomes what negative. So how do you write the rule? X remains the same. Y becomes negative. Okay. You are going to try this one for me. Let's look at another example. So you do this one as a try what you sent to me. Okay. Then let's look at this example. This one. We are reflecting this and this 
is reflected on the x-axis. When you count, this becomes a mirror line. The x becomes a mirror line. You see that if you see yourself in a mirror, or if you look into a mirror, you see yourself. The distance from you to the mirror line is the same as the distance from the mirror line to the person you see inside the mirror. That is the image. So here, the distance from me, this is the person, the object, to the mirror must be the same. So we count one, we count one. So this point, then this one, you count one, you count one. This one, you count one, two. This is also one, two. Let's look at this. One, two. So here also you count one, two. Then this one, one, two, three. Then this is also going to be one, two. Why? The distance between, this is, from here to here is negative two, so, in between is going to be one then let's count this one two three so this is also going to be one two three so this is reflection on the x-axis then what about this one this one is reflection on the y-axis one this is the y this is our mirror line which is the same as x is equals to what zero let's count one two three so we count one, two, three. For this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is reflection on the y axis. It counts for all. Okay. Then <coughs> the question says translate B for six. Two units to the left and three units down. How do you translate it to the left? You subtract from the x-axis. So two units to the left, so it's going to be four minus two. And three units down is going to be six minus three. It gives you this. Then five one four units to the right. So 4 units to the right, so you add 4, and 6 units down, so you subtract 6 from 1. Four plus four, 5 plus 4 is 9, 1 minus 6 is minus 5. You do this homework for me. Do this homework for me. Okay, so this is going to be your homework. Then let's look at this example also. What kind of transformation is described by the rule? We have this x plus 3, y minus 8. Translate a point 3 units up and 8 units down. What kind of transformation is described by the rule? Okay, now if you check this, it's going to be translate. If you check, it's minus. Né? So they're translating the point, they're translating the point to unit to the left because it's minus and three units up because it's plus. The same applies to the first one. X plus three, so you translate the point three units up. This is supposed to be right, not up. Three units to the right. When you add, is to the right. Translate three units to the right and eight units down. Okay, I've already talked about this. Okay, what are the rules? What are the conditions of this? What are the coordinates of this using the rule? Okay, <clears throat> so to find the coordinate, our x is minus 10, x is minus 10, minus 2, 
9 is y plus 9 is y plus 3. So that is plus 3, 9 plus 3. So minus 10 minus 2 is minus 12. Minus, sorry, 9 plus 3 is 12. So these are the points. I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.